Hello, in this video, I want to show you how we could use vScope Photo Keyer to create this image. vScope Photo Keyer is a uh, standalone program. It's available at www.dvdxdv.com. And what we have here is a green screen background. And we can see the green screen by just simply turning off the, uh, the key and turning it back on. As you can see, it's actually nothing more than a green screen. But Photo Keyer is making it look very, very realistic. So how do we do this? Well, we're going to start out with a new document. We're going to just going to close this one and we're not going to save it. And we just go up here to create a new document. We say start. Um, and that brings up our new document. So let's go ahead and resize it so we can fill up the screen. And uh, over here, um, we go up to the file menu and we say import image. Now, these are some of the sample program, sample images that are available uh, with vScope Keyer when you download it. So you can play with it immediately. And uh, under the, uh, the green screen folder in the sample images, uh, we're just going to go ahead and select this one. And we bring it up and automatically uh, vScope uh, Photo Keyer has figured out how to remove this background. It's analyzed the, um, the green and it's picked the best color to, uh, to get rid of it. As you can see, the green is still there. We just turn it on, turn it off. And uh, now what we want to do is we want to import a background. So let's pick one of our backgrounds and we're going to get, take this one, which is uh, Five for Beach. And we import it, and uh, as you can see, it looks uh, looks pretty good. But there's um, this uh, this right here. This hair doesn't quite look like what we want. So what we're going to do to fix that is uh, all we got to do is turn up the spill a little bit, and uh, there is slightly a problem because as you can see, we turn the spill up all the way. This part of the jacket turns pink. So if you um, have a situation where your um, you've got a lot of yellow in the photo and your spill starts to remove it, all you got to do is um, change the, the color that uh, vScope key is using. So all we'd have to do is drag the slider over just a little bit until this uh, right over here, this jacket, no longer has that pink look to it. So we just kind of bring up the spill to kind of remove some of that, uh, that green in the hair. And... Uh, if you want to add a little bit more color back into it, because it kind of turns gray, all we got to do is uh, pick up the um, replace color right here and select a little bit of the hair. And uh, we can uh, make some adjustments and change the opacity and make many, many different adjustments to try to kind of blend it in and make it look pretty natural. Uh, the next setting is, uh, as we look at this, is that um, we notice that the background is a little bit too sharp. So what we want to do to fix that is we want to add a little bit of blur. So we come over here to the background image uh, settings and we just kind of bring up the slider over here until it looks pretty natural. And uh, that's pretty much as uh, the look that you're looking for. As you can see, the person is already pretty well separated from the background. The next setting that we want to do is we want to clean up the, uh, the hair and make it look much more natural. So what we'll do that is we'll enable the edge refinement and uh, we'll turn off the light wrap for a second just so that we can speed things up uh, because these are both very, very, um, you know, performance enhancing. Uh, so what we'll do is uh, we'll bring up the road blur first and then we'll bring up the, uh, the road clamp. Um, I'm sorry, the, the actual blur right here. And by bringing up these two blurs, uh, we can kind of make a more natural looking image out of this, just like it's slightly out of focus on the edges rather than just being a hard clipping edge. And uh, that's how you create this image with uh, vScope Photo Keyer. You can find out more information about vScope Photo Keyer at www.dvdxdv.com.